Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Cypress, and in this video we are going to be looking at how to set up color reaction rules in your own server. If you would like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated, and enjoy the video. So we're going to start off by going to Google and then just going to this exact link. I'm going to leave this in the description. And then you can see there's a hex code right here. You're going to want to remember this hex code. Uh, and you can just pick whatever colors you want for your rolls. So I'm just going to say this and then go into the hex code thing and then hit enter. This will bring you to a new page. And then you can see a little image right here. You're just going to want to hit uh, open image and new tab. And then right here you can say save images and then save it to whatever file you want. Um, and then we're going to go back into Discord and create a new server. I actually haven't created a main server, so I'm just going to say Cypress main server. Um, and then we can also create a new server called Color Emojis. Uh, basically, this is just going to have all your color emojis. So uh, we're going to go into server settings and then emojis and hit upload emoji. Um, I'm just going to create a random one since I already have colors. So this is going to be baby blue. And by the way, this is only if you have Nitro, so if you don't have Nitro, don't make this other server. You have to just put the emojis in the same server as your main server. Um, but you can also just have somebody that has Nitro do it as well. Uh, and then after that, we can go and go into server settings in our main server. And we can actually create the role color, uh, the roles. So we're going to say baby blue. And then we can just paste this hex code here. Uh, well, I'm just gonna make it a random hex code actually. Uh, and then you can save that. And then uh, after that, we can exit out of that and then go to yagpdb.xyz. Make sure you add this to both of the servers. So main server and also your color emoji server. Or if you don't have Nitro, then it would just be your main server. And then from there, we can go ahead and select the main server. And then we can go over to tools and utilities and then role commands. And we can create a new group called colors or you can just create your own. So if we go back to my server and you go to colors, you can see that there's actually different messages that it sends. That's because I made different uh, groups. So this is my verve group. This is my aspect group. This is my apex and standard. So I'm just going to make a colors group because I'm only making one color. But so basically from here, you would just create a bunch of groups and then put those colors there. Actually, I did make a mistake. You are going to want to make sure that your role is above the Yagbot. So or the Yagbot is above the role. Go to this and then type out your color and it should autom automatically put the role right here and then just create the new role command. And then also make sure that you uh, put it from top to bottom. So if you want it in a specific order, like I put my red at the top right here, it would have sent, if you send the uh, messages like in order. So if I put baby blue first and like you want it to be here, it's going to show up there instead of here. So basically you're just going to want to go backwards. So I would send electric pink first, then crimson would be last. So for here, I only have one roll, but just be aware that it will be basically backwards with these reaction rolls right here. Uh, and then once we do this with uh, YAG, that's basically it for that. And we can go back into our main server and just create the rolls channel. So, and then we can say baby blue. Well, I'm, I don't have the color because I don't have nitro, but I'm just going to say that is that. And then we can go to more and then copy the ID and then just take note that this is your group color. So. You're just going to want to hit roll menu, create, and then remember, this is your group. So colors and then dash M that will get the message ID and then paste the message ID. This will make it so that it will send uh, the reaction rolls on this message instead of creating a new one. So you can then just react with the role. So I'm just going to say that. And then from there, you can delete this message. And if you don't want it to DM people after they react, so like if I react, it'll DM me and tell me I got the role. If you don't want it to do that, just do this right here where it says no DM false. Uh, you can actually say it right here, role menu, update, no DM, and then copy this message ID again. 
So you can then do actually delete this message and also delete this one. And then from there, yeah, you can just have it here and people can react and get the roles. If you guys run into any problems or you need any help, make sure to leave a comment or join my Discord server. Uh, besides that, if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a great day.